All right, what's going on guys? This is Maury from the Erie Better Beer Bureau back at you with another blind review. Dave and Pat are inside. They're gonna come out and the blind one today is Scaled IPA from Trillion Brewing Company out of Boston. Uh, we had a local viewer from Erie contact me saying that he wanted to see us do a Trillium review blind. He didn't want the name of the brewery pl playing into the hype and the ratings and so so forth so um yeah so we're gonna do this one up thank you very much eric by the way for donating this to the cause and uh i'm gonna bring pat and dave out and we'll see what they think of the trillium scaled ipa blind <sighs> hoppy and juicy yeah i'm getting a little something else in there it's, it's freaking salty cold almost. though that's yeah. right <laughs> this thing's ice cold Wow, nice like one. my heart. <laughs> <laughs> I get a lot of, yeah, it's tropical, man. I mean, I'm getting a ton of, like, pineapples and, you know, sh all that kind of stuff. Pineapples, fruity hops. Yeah. Like lemongrass. And little, it's got a little bitterness little to bitterness. it, too. I mean, yeah, not like a piney bitterness, but like an orange rind bitterness, you know? Can't wait any longer. Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. It's actually not as fruity on the taste as it is no, on the nose. No, it's definitely hoppy. I mean, it's got a nice bitterness at the end, but it's not like overwhelmingly like, you know, juice bomb. But actually, it's nice and well balanced. Mm -hmm. I get, you know, similarly aroma. And, you know, a lot of those typical... You know, hazy IPA taste, you know, some pineapple, some citrus fruit. It's got a nice mouthfeel on it, though. I like that kind of, like, heftier, creamy mouthfeel on an IPA like this. Yeah, and I, I'm getting pineapple and, like, pineapple rind on this. Like, that prickly side mm -hmm. of the outside of the pineapple, if you bite into it accidentally. And I'm getting more, like, bitterness on it after that mm -hmm. second sip. Like, it's definitely got some, like, hop bitters. Like, I, I'd like to know the uh, IBUs on this thing because... Um, yeah, I'm definitely getting a lot more bitter than your typical, you know, say like, uh, you know, Treehouse or Trillium beer. I find those like incredibly fruity, you know, and really tropical where this is a little more balanced. It was really like tropical on the nose, but I'm getting a lot of like citrus, some tropical and a big like nice bitter note at the end. Yeah, it's it's way more bitter actually. It's a little a lot dry of, even. Yeah, it is it is kind of dry. It's, it's, it's more on that side than most IPAs of this style are usually made. Mm-hmm. Like I like usually, it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's different. I mean, by appearance alone, it appears to be a New England-style IPA. Um, on the aroma, it also smells like a New England IPA. Yeah, every time I take a sip of it, I expect that big, fruity, tropical bomb mm -hmm. that usually appears in the style, and it never shows up. That's not to say, though, that it's not a, a nice beer. It, it is much more well-balanced than a lot of those other beers are. You get a, a mild sweetness up front. It kind of goes into a, a very round bitterness on the back end that linger, lingers into the aftertaste. And you still get all the notes of the fruit without the sweetness. So it's it's quite flavorful without being really sweet. And so actually I'm really enjoying it. I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. I like it. Yeah, I'm right on with you with the score, man. I'm four border and 4.25 on this one. Um, and I really do like that kind of bitterness. So yeah, I get a, like a little hint of some tropical fruit rounded into some like orange zest and stuff like that and then it's got that nice like really hot bitter bite at the end and uh it's got that it's kind of like a dry little like dry almost like a you know nice ending on it you know it's got a real nice body too so yeah i'm going to i'm real solid four if not a, i mean i'm bordering 4.25 but i'm not quite there so yeah Rock it out, man. What do you got here? All right, well, to be fair, it's Eric's mystery review. Mm. He's a security guard up at Wegmans. Cheers, Eric, us, man. And he didn't want the hype of the brewery playing into the ratings, which is why right. he wanted it done blind. Go ahead and pull the top. It's scaled from Trillium. Hmm. Nice. So, no uh, kidding. Yep, it's their IPA. And I don't know if it says what the IBUs are on there or anything like that. No. There's not a lot of information on those. There's, yeah, yeah it just significant. says significant. <laughs> it does say that on there. Scaled, nice man. That's a great one. Yeah. No, it's a real solid beer. 
Yeah, and it's I it, you know it's different than a lot of the other brews that Trillium has put Which out. Is you nice. know, and I even really just had uh, what was it cutting tiles, yep. and that thing was sweet. I think it because it has honey in it. Yeah. But this one is like almost the exact it's opposite. Mm. It's really dry. It's bitter, but it definitely retains some of those like fruit characteristics. You know, I was getting some of the tropical yeah, and citrus fruits on it. The fruit flavors are there, but the sweetness isn't. That's, right. Yeah. yeah I kind of like it. Yeah. Good. Anyway, thanks. thanks, Eric. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.